FAA and Boeing, the company that built the plane. There were thunderstorms in the area when the Boeing 747 purportedly shown here stalled and crashed in Afghanistan. So weather is one potential cause, weight is another. The overall weight has to be within the center of gravity limits. If the cargo shifts in either direction, it's possible that it could go out of the limits. So it's not just the total, but where that weight is positioned on the plane. As part of the drawdown in Afghanistan, the U.S. has been removing a massive amount of heavy equipment. So this 747 takes off for Dubai with five armored vehicles on board. Each weighs 13 tons and has to be locked in a certain spot. But if one of the chain attachments were to fail, one loose vehicle could suddenly push 20, 30 tons to the rear of the plane. A lot of folks sitting at home are wondering, what's the difference between this flight and a 747 that they might get on? Well, this is a 747-400. It is a very widely used um, commercial passenger carrying airplane with an excellent safety record. And whether you're flying tourists to Australia or hauling gear from Afghanistan, balance is essential. Even carrying the space shuttle Discovery on its back, this 747 weighs less than 500,000 pounds. Compare that to the same plane with hundreds of seats, passengers, luggage, and food. It can weigh more than 800,000 pounds. The airlines are so precise, they add five pounds to the average passenger's weight in wind.